Bienvenidos a todos. Welcome to Spanglish with Sean. In this session, we will be looking at the Spanish noun. And as you can see on my board, we have masculine noun and feminine noun. So that tells you that in Spanish, gender is very important. Now, we have an example of a word here, libro on the masculine, so we know it's a masculine noun. We have uh, on the feminine noun, sia, so yes, it's a feminine noun. But <clears throat> there is something else that tells us, that makes us always know that the noun is either masculine or feminine. And it is the definite article, the, used in front of the noun. So in Spanish, unlike English, there are two forms in the singular form. So we have el as masculine and we have feminine, we have the la as the feminine form. Both mean the, okay? So interesting. Whereas in English we only just have the, that goes with any noun. However, in Spanish you have to know the gender to use the el correctly and the la correctly. And so we go back here to Libro. So this is Libro. Now, usually, it's, it's, we know it's masculine because it is, it's going to be L. Now, some of you will say, oh, but once it ends in O, it is mas uh, masculine, but not all the time. So it's good to learn the article, the V, whether it is for masculine, always L, El Libro, and feminine now, it's always la. So do not always have the notion that once it ends in a, it is feminine. There are some exceptions. And once, so you have to know, you have to be exposed, you have to be taught, like what you are learning now, you have to learn that, listen, use the article once you, you use a dictionary that can help you too. You will see in bracket M for masculine, so you know you must use L with it. And LA for feminine, so you know you are to use LA with that noun. So let's get some examples here. Because th this is actually part one. Because part two, you will see other occasions where you will use the L with a noun that doesn't necessarily end with O and vice versa with A. Okay? so. Let's get some more examples so you get the, the pattern, you see the pattern. So for the masculine, we have el cuaderno, and I'm sure you might guess correctly that it means notebook. Now you notice there, there's no English on the board, and that is deliberate, because it's Spanish. You are learning a foreign language, and so I want you to write the meanings in your book. In, but do not you I do not I'm not gonna sh put this English beside it. So if you're wondering and wanting to ask in the comment why is it the English beside? That's the reason. So you, you learn the brain retains the Spanish when you do not see the English beside it. All right. So you can in teaching, in teaching and learning process. But yes, you can make a note. So el cuaderno notebook l and please repeat after me el cuaderno. See, el cuaderno, el cuchillo, I heard you, el cuchillo, el chico, it's muy bien, el niño, muy bien, el cubo, bien. So all of them, notice the end, the O, the masculine form, the O is there, and the L, they go with L. Now the la form, now the feminine form, la mochila. And so agreement is very often apparent in Spanish. But there are the exceptions. There are exceptions and so that is why we start with the general pattern, the standard pattern. So la mochila, knapsack bag. La ventana, window. La chica, girl. Just like we have over here, el chico. So often when it is, the, the, that's the gender of the 
individual, biological, physiological, you would say, you el chico. So you would never put la. But for girl now, you would have to change, convert the L to la, the O to A, and we get chica. Similarly, el niño becomes girl, la niña. And remember the tilde above the end, la caja, la caja, box, box. All right, so let's do a quick activity. So below we see actividad. So let's, so means activity. So la Mm, almost, you might have got it a while ago. So, Pissara, are you going to use El Pissara or La Pissara? What do you think? I think I heard most of you saying La, and you are correct. La Pissara. And this means the board that we're actually writing on, that I'm writing on, right? La Pissara, the writing board. Two, Tasa. Tasa? Tasa means cup. Now, is it El or La? You guessed correctly. La, la tasa. Number three, mango. Mango. Should it be L or La? Well, it sounds, you might say it sounds better with L. Well, it is L for, for a fact. So it wouldn't be La. It says L, mango. Then number four, bote. And of, naturally, obviously, L mango means mango, right? Now, botella. Botella. The two L's do not say la. Never say la with two L's. Make it be a Y sound. Or sometimes the, the, the J, they call it a yod in phonology. So we say botella or botella. So always make sure you're practicing out there. Make sure you're practicing and re revisit the video so you can hear and pronounce the word correctly. Right? So, because once you start to speak Spanish, you must sound correct in terms of the, the word called in the words right so we're going to have not el but of course la botella botella bottle and then the last one it looks it tells you so in spanish there are some words we call cognates so once and it's a word in english too the word similar to the meaning so once you say and in a language so telefono it looks like and it sounds like telephone and it is telephone for a fact However, don't be misled though, there are some words that, and in another video, you will be exposed to some of those, that they sound like the English words, equivalents, but they are not, they don't have that meaning, total different meanings. So, telephono is one though that is, is a giveaway. Telephono is telephone, but do we use L or LA? Yes, you are right, tell L. So, it has to be L telephono. Now, even though L and LA mean the, it doesn't mean that you're always going to say the, the, when you are translated to English. So, I need uh, I, the cup, la taza, the cup, but you don't always have to translate as meaning the cup, just cup, la taza cup, or la pisara, the writing board, or just board, right, the writing board. But botella, la botella, bottle rather than the bottle so you do not always translate the the l and the la for the in in trans translating to english but they must go with them um, the l and the la always accompany the nouns in spanish there are some exceptions but another video you will learn that but usually for the most part 90 percent of the time the articles are very important, very crucial in your using these nouns. So remember now, this is part one. So tune in next week for part two, where we will look at some other nouns that end. For example, the actividad, would you say it is el actividad or would you say la actividad? Put your comments in the comment, in the comment section, right? And so we're gonna look at some of these for next session, next video. So like and subscribe. Bendiciones. Blessings. Nos vemos.